Then we are on our way to. Well, we're going to the home of Frank Jones, who's one of the uh, leaders in the job, Free John McNeil. He's a former police officer here and a longtime family friend of John. Uh, John's wife, Anita, is here. Anita is now living in North Carolina to be close to her family and friends. She's suffering from terminal cancer and is racing against time to get her husband released. In September of 2012, she went to Georgia to visit John in prison for the first time in 18 months. What was that conversation like when you first saw him after all this time? Um, it was bittersweet seeing him. We had just buried his mom in July. And um, hadn't seen him since I had been re-diagnosed with cancer. And we both was more concerned with how the other felt. This case is Shakespearean. Because on the one hand, you do have the death of another human being, and nobody ever relishes in that. But now we're killing the very soul of a whole family and a community that loves John. Have 911, what's the address of your emergency? Hey, Irvine Wade, Kennesaw, Georgia. My son is at the house. He said somebody is trespassing on the property back there. OK, can you tell me anything else? Uh, I don't know if it's the builder. I fired the builder. My son said he pulled a knife on him. He walked outside and pulled a knife on him, so I'm headed home right now. OK. And it is the builder, and I make ready to whoop his right now. So get the cops. As he was turning into our subdivision, he said he could see Brian Epps standing at his truck. According to court testimony, John saw Brian Epp reach into his truck and put something in his pocket. It turned out to be a box cutter. As Epp came charging at him, John retrieved his licensed firearm from the glove compartment and exited the car. John, I begged him not to come. He did not just start shooting. He retreated, he backed up, he fired a warning shot. And only when nothing else could be done did he fire this fatal shot. An eyewitness confirmed John's story, and John was released after being questioned by police. What was the reasoning for them letting him go? He said that John acted in self-defense and that it could have easily have been the other way around. And John did what he had to do. And this is from the police department? This is from the police department. But after John went free for 274 days, the Cobb County District Attorney, Pat Head, indicted John for murder. His decision surprised many because Georgia's Castle Doctrine, another self-defense law like Stand Your Ground, justified the use of deadly force in defense of one's home. And that day changed our lives. It changed our lives. Tell me about that day at the trial. And then the jury comes back, and they find him guilty of felony murder, which means he's getting life. He said, he said, I love you. And he blew a kiss, and he said, you're going to be OK. What would be closure for you in this case? John McNeil walking out that prison is a partial victory. But John McNeil walking out that prison to hug Miss McNeil is a true victory. I just pray that I live long enough to see that day. I have to have hope and I have to have faith that justice will prevail.